What's good, Collective? Welcome back to another reading. So, these downloads are just coming because, baby, it is 11-something at night. And I just keep getting downloads. So, um, Spirit is really guiding somebody towards you. Those of you who are in separation, because these are this is giving separation energy. Like I keep picking up on separation energy. Um, let me show you all I got. So the goddess, the influence, and the soulmates. So the goddess card. Um, it also represents. Uh, the universe, it represents the higher self, it represents a new beginning, um, what else it represents, hold on, what's that, number 57, mm -hmm. look, the universe, goddess, source, energy, love for all, understanding, endings, nature, God, power, success, Wholeness, completion, divine achievement, success, totality, the public, demigoddess, natural peaches, divine being, righteous, higher self, cleanliness, angelic spirituality, pur purity, self-mastery, creation, new beginnings. Okay. So, an influence with soulmates. So, I just feel like the, the universe is influencing this connection to come together finally is what I'm hearing. Uh, things are being cleared out so this connection can be made um, to come to become together yeah look all right let me shuffle though hold on two 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 on the timer as I stopped it when I stopped it I mean Okay, the number 13 is significant. The number 4 is significant. The number 8 is significant as well. Okay, um, I'm still getting to know these cards because I don't really use them that much. But y'all know I'm going to read them intuitively. And if I need to grab the guidebook to add um, additional messages, I'll do that as well. Look at you, Divine Fam. <laughs> Period. Okay, I also feel like your energy can be influencing um, this person to come to, um, to come towards you as well. The, the soul tie at the bottom of the deck with the karmic in reverse. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, um, collective, you're influencing your person to break out of a um, karmic cycle with the... Um, with whoever they have a, a, a soul tie with. Look, diet. Yeah, 333, yes, I say that. So 333 is significant for some of y'all and also the number 17. Some of you guys could have um, stiletto nails, um, ballerina nails, and coffin-shaped type nails. Somebody could like grapes. Um, you can like bananas as well. Someone could be trying to um, maybe lose weight or just uh, tone up or just get your diet in order or some shit like that as well. Okay. The target came out, but it came out in reverse. I'm not sure what the reverse was about, so let me just check. Number 31. Somebody can be 31 years old. Um, doubt, confusion, dodging the bullet, distractions, weak-mindedness, miss enemies traps falsely accused okay yeah so he's clearing out this type of people the stoner some of you guys can smoke weed um you are this person you can smoke weed or both y'all like something about the stoner okay let's look more into that though higher perspective stoner relaxation break time sense of self 
dopamine release, stimulation, prudence, easing pain, stress relief, feeling good, pleasure, intoxicated, high level, conscious, awakening, newborn, perspective, cognitive, expansion, altered state of mind. Okay, yeah, so this person is going through awakening. Like I said, um, you're influencing this person to pull out karmic cycles and get away from this person. Mm. This person could also be guided by their ancestors as well with the elders showing up here. I feel like the divine is intervening within this connection. So things can come together. Alright. Let's get one more card. I'm here. We belong together by Mariah Carey. So that's significant. Or Mariah Carey is significant in general. The catfish in reverse. Someone can no longer hide. I feel like somebody is coming out to... Um, somebody stepping into the authenticity. Let me see. Uh, number 19. What does this even say? Exposed, fraud, fake personality, investigating, revenge, embarrassment, truth, exposed, confession, confronting someone, coming clean. Mm, yep, told you. Coming clean about something. And also, somebody's getting exposed. Let's see what they're getting exposed for. What is this person getting exposed? Who's getting exposed? What's being exposed? Oh, shoot. Twin flames. Oh! We've been known again, baby. It's been a bad one, not my part of me. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing the real McCoy. So people, people are really about to find out who really belong together. Period. The bag. Who are really gonna run it up together? Two. Someone's also being exposed for what somebody wants. Okay, somebody could be trying to steal somebody's shit. Okay, third party energy is here, but it is leaving. What's the bag? Did I even bring it out? I don't even think I brought it back out. I think I picked it up. That is too many. Hold on. And I'm about to run out of time. Just give me one card. The healer. And the polys. With the empath. That kept coming out. The throne at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. Okay. Someone has seen um, exactly who people are in this situation when it comes to this third-party situation. Um, your person is seeing who is for them and who is not for them. And they're realizing you're the one that's for him. Some of you guys can be healers or something like that. But um, you provide, like, um, I don't know. Uh, you're very healing to this person. You show a lot of compassion, okay? And you're also in influencing them to do a lot of changes within their life, positive changes, um, you're very understanding when it comes to this person and whatever it is that they, um, got going on or whatever. And they also feel like that you just see the good in them. Hmm. Okay. What's the polys? Hold on. Okay. This person basically feels like you're their soulmate. You give soulmate energy, um, family energy. This person, you feel like home to this person. They also feel like you guys have the same mindset to where y'all can just, like, take over. Low-key with the throne. Yeah, the vision is up under that. Yeah, this person feels like y'all share the same visions, the same goals. Um, y'all want to um, go towards the same things, build the same things. So they feel like they really resonate with you. So that's why they're coming towards you. Because they know whoever it is that they were connected to wasn't... They wasn't who they say they were. It was just giving, like, super karmic. 
for sure. They had a lack of int intimacy with that person. They feel like they barely bonded with that person. They also feel like it was a lot of codependency. So, mm -mm. 